Hello, my little angels and beautiful little monsters. So I wanted to make the second video of the glitter reveal. Uh, clearly, I just woke up, <laughs> but that is my fame. So that people know me for waking up and making videos. It's the Glitterazzi Hard Candy Press and Play in Dazzle. Now, this is the color that I was saying last time I did the video, um, that it's patchy. So I just wanted to show you how I do it. Um, I really had to start getting into fake eyelashes. I only have like 97 pairs and I'm not even exaggerating because I did professional makeup a while ago. And then I started, you know, assembling furniture and getting out all of my aggression and pent up energy. And I love it, but it's time to move on. So I will be doing it for a while. I still will train people. Um, I do love mounting furniture and I love assembling it. But I think I'm ready to move on. You know, my purpose in life is to be free and to show people how to be free and live a life um, where you do what you want, but you can still take care of yourself. Um, you know, if you don't know anything about me, I've been to 27 countries. I've had over 15 career paths. Um, <laughs> everything, I'm just letting this dry and then I'll do the glitter reveal. Um, everything from door-to-door uh, -door sales, uh, which is where you get the smile and that unbelievable kick me, you know, and I'll get up no matter what kind of attitude. Um, I did, I was an executive assistant to everybody, to the VP, global directors. Like I'm always like the assistant to the highest person in the company. Uh, for the jewelry industry, um, the billionaire that I worked for had like seven different types of businesses that I helped her with. Uh, I was her personal assistant as well. Um, so I was, it's really interesting working for billionaires, very different than millionaires. Um, I mount TVs now, I put up shelves, assemble Ikea furniture, which is like a complete exact opposite of what I was doing. But that's how I am. Like, I'm just like, oh, people don't expect me to do that. I'll do that. So now I'm writing. I'm going to be a writer and an author. And then I want to be a motivational speaker. And then I'm going to make documentaries. Um, but other jobs that I had, I did payroll for US Airways <laughs> when I was like 20 in college for accounting. Um, I did, uh, I, I told you about the real estate. I'm a notary public. And I'm never going to let that go as well as my real estate license. I was a life insurance agent for a little while, but I really didn't like it. Um, and I let that expire this year, but I still have time to renew it. So I'm just like debating if I want to do that or not. Because I don't really feel like it's. I want to give it my all. But I do love educating people about money and saving. And, you know, it's important to have a life insurance policy. Everybody out there, if you have children, um, if you have a spouse, get a life insurance policy. Make sure it's a... A life insurance policy that covers you with accidental death, not only an accidental death policy, but a life insurance policy where if you pass in any capacity plus accidents that you also get coverage. That's really, really important because the last thing you want to do is leave your family um, struggling, God forbid you pass, you know, or your spouse because it's hard to raise a family by yourself. Um, and what else did I do? Oh, I worked at a coffee plant packing coffee. <laughs> yeah, I did that for like a year and a half while I was transitioning from my nine to five job to like freelancing. And I was like, I just need to make some steady money. I can live on a very low budget. I was making like $300 a week. It really wasn't a lot of money. Now I make like three to five times that. Um, and I'm going to make more than that before I was making even more than that. But it was the, the purpose of like, I don't want to do this. I did 20 years in corporate America, 20 years. You know what I mean? Like some of you guys aren't even 20 years old yet, you know? And I did that. Oh, let's do the glitter reveal. Mm. Look at that. So pretty. Um, so then I decided to work for myself and that was the sacrifice I needed to make to get there. Oh, I was also the office manager at Uber when it first opened in New York City. So like, that's a really big deal and it's really big on my resume. Everyone's like, you worked at Uber when it first opened? Yeah, I did. I was the office manager, not the general manager. He's bigger than me. I was the office manager. But look at that. And throughout the night, it's going to even get more stunning. I do have to touch up here. The one thing I found is with the glamour 
and with the dazzle this one whichever one is more contrasting to your lips because you see my natural lip color like i just put lip gloss and people are like oh, what color is that and i'm like that's my lips you know <laughs> so i i got the lucky stick with that but um it rubs off here because when i'm always doing this i'm always always doing that um i do lick my lips a lot um and I think I need to moisturize. I'm going to see if you could do this on top of a chapstick. Because that might stop me from licking my lips. Because when your lips get really, really, really dry, then you want to lick them. But right here. Oh, also a lip liner. I should have probably did that. I have a new lip liner. So when you use these lipsticks, I recommend. This is what I said the last video too. That you put the lip liner on all over your lips. Uh, you fill it in and then you put this on. And I should have done that today, but I woke up. I was tired. Um, I'm debating if I should go to the salon, which I really think I should because I got my curlers on and I'm going to let my flip out soon because, you know, I like the 1950s flip. That's my thing. Um, but it's a pretty color. I don't love it for myself because it's, I feel like I'm washed out and it's the same color as my skin. I wanted to make this video for people of color and anybody who wants to see it, but more importantly for people of color like myself because I keep watching these videos and they look so good. So this would look good on my sister because she's pale and she's white. It's a nice contrast. But since I'm, you know, a, a little bit darker, I'm tan, I I don't like this color on me because it's not enough of a contrast. So I'm actually going to, I told her I was going to give her this. I'm just going to put it in a little bag and give it to her later today. Um, but I wanted to make the video before I did give it to her because it's just so pretty like this. But then when you pull it away, it's just not my look. Like, let me see. What do you guys think? If I put makeup on and I made like a really pretty eye. No, I don't like it. I'm not into like the nudes. I'm not into like that whole monochrome nude thing. I don't know. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And just let you guys know a little bit about me. Uh, my book is coming out soon. I'm going to put the link underneath this when I actually publish the book. Probably not going to be till the end of this year. I thought it was going to be sooner. But the more I read it and I reread it and I edit it, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. I can't put that out like that. Um, I first wrote the book and it was like uh, tips and tricks on how to survive when you're on a budget. Because clearly I just told you my story. So I had to learn how to transition from being really bougie and well off to like broke. Like broke, broke. Like going to people's houses and having potluck dinners because I have no money and we need food. Uh, broke. <laughs> um, to going back to being bougie again. <laughs> um, so I just look at it like I, I had to transition and I didn't want to lose the aspects of my life that I was accustomed to because I didn't have money. So I found different ways to still live that lifestyle without actually um, sacrificing, you know, the income. You know, so it's it's a really interesting book. First, it was just tips and tricks, and it was very plain and very like very to the point, which is really my personality. Um, but everyone's like, "No, you should write more about yourself. Let people get to know you. Let them hear your voice." And I'm like, "Oh God, it sounds like Uber, the Uber voice." Um, so I changed the entire book, and now it took longer. <laughs> but it, now you'll get to know me more, and apparently, people want to get to know you, so. Hi, my name is Myra. This is me. Uh, I have two more colors that I'm going to showcase. I don't do a lot of reviews, but when I do reviews, I do reviews. Um, oh, no transfer. That's one thing. I, I mean, there is slight transfer if you're really hard. Uh, I wouldn't kiss a guy's neck or shirt because it will rub off, I'm pretty sure. Um, but if you were to kiss him on the lip, like that, it'd be fine. But if you kiss them and you're like making out, I'm pretty sure it's going to rub off. Uh, that's the look. I don't know if you like it or not. I think it's okay. I would not personally wear this. Oh, what I think I might do, mm, I don't know. I was going to say is put like lip liner on underneath a different color completely like red or purple or whatever. Then put this on top and see how it works together. I don't know. But I probably won't do that because it's just too much work. And if you know me, I'm all about... Okay, I'm easygoing. I'm not simple. Because <laughs> I was telling that to my friend when I went to North Carolina. I'm like, I'm so simple. She's like, you are not simple. You are easygoing. You go with the flow. But you like really expensive things. And you like things a certain way. And that's not simplicity. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, so this is a look. What do you think? Uh, and the next one, I'll probably put a wig on. Because, yeah, I do need to go to the salon. My hair be looking a little funky today. All right, bye.